Hey guys, Ashley here, and since it was New Year's Eve, I thought it would be kind of cool to take a look through the January 2017 Lego catalog with you guys, and I've only looked at a few pages, I haven't looked at much at all myself, so I haven't really seen much of what's in here, and I thought it would just be a real fun little thing to do for the new year. Also, I'm sorry the light, of uh, the lighting, it looks kind of red tinted in here for some reason, I have no idea why. I actually just finished filming a review of my, uh, Royal Breed set that I got uh, of model horses that I got for my birthday, the show jumping one. You can see the mess over there on my desk. <laughs> I got a bunch of Shopkins stuff to open still. I figure if I leave it on the desk, then that'll encourage me. Anyway, let's actually get to this catalog. So, the front shows some of the Lego Batman stuff. I like that Batgirl figure. Free mini bat wing with purchase of 35 or more. Okay, so our first page. Bat cave break-in. 1,047 er, pieces. I started to say 1,000 um, or 100 pieces. I don't really know what I started to say. I started to say something strange, though. I know that. That's a pretty cool one. I don't know, though. I liked, like, the classic bat cave set that they had. Just a little mini Batwing again. New Lego minifigures, the Lego oh, Batman movie series. Oh, these are going to be the next. This is going to be a blind bag series. Those are going to be fun. I don't think I've ever done any Lego blind bags, like, on camera. I mean, I have a complete Simpsons set, and I've been getting the Disney ones. But I, like, never op opened any on camera. This might be some that I get and open with you guys. That's really cool. I like that Batman right there, that pink one. <laughs> Just as a fairy. I'm actually kind of excited about the Lego Batman movie, is because I think it'll be funny. I don't know, what do you guys think? Look at this guy, he's got a pencil. My camera, once again proving why I cannot wait for the new one to get here. So anyway, let's not spend too much time on one page. There's more Batman sets. The Riddler, Riddle Racer, Splat Attack, that's a clay face one. That's actually kind of cool. Batmobile, I'm not too fond of this one. What's that say on it? The speed wagon? Mm, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe after I've seen the Lego Batman movie. Killer Croc Tailgater. Joker Notorious Low Rider. I kind of like that. Of course, I was going to get one of the bigger sets, but my camera being semi broken kind of came first. So I. I do have to replace that, and then maybe eventually I'll still get one of the bigger sets. A Joker Balloon Escape? Hmm. I don't know about that one. Catwoman Motor... or Cat Cycle Chase. Well, there's that, uh, minifigure I like. What is with the Robin figures, like, goggles? <laughs> I kind of like this. The Penguin Arctic Roller. Sorry, it's not focusing very well. The Scuddler. That's kind of neat. This one I really like. This is one that I did see already. This is the Arkham Asylum set. And this is another pretty pricey one. So, I don't know. That's kind of another thing for me to add to the list of which set am I going to get. Because it was either the Millennium Falcon or the Simpsons House before. But I was kind of leaning towards the Simpsons House. But then I, I kind of really do still want the Millennium Falcon. And now I see that they have this Arkham Asylum set that's really cool looking. It comes with a bunch of minifigures. You get Batman, Robin, Barbara, Gordon. Aaron Cash is what I was saying before the camera cut off. Uh, you get two Gotham City Police Department officers, Harley Quinzel, it's her as a doctor. You get the Joker, Poison Ivy, Two-Face, Catwoman, and the Riddler. Again, I'm sorry it's not actually showing very well. There's a Scarecrow Special Delivery set. There's Mr. Freeze, Ice Attack. Some more little, uh, these are like little Mighty Micros. I like the Superman vs. Bizarro because I really like the Bizarro minifigure. So I may get that one if not just for that minifigure. And it's always nice to have extra pieces. And then there's the Batman vs. Killer Moth. I don't really care for the Killer Moth figure. I do kind of like that particular style Batman minifigure, but I, I don't know. There are other sets you can get that one in, I think. So there's Batman, Scarecrow, Harvest of Fear. That's kind of a neat one because I like the uh, harvester and the tractor. 
Looks like there are some sticker pieces here. No, not everyone likes those, but this one is actually a pretty neat little set. You get Scarecrow, Killer Moth. This, that figure I kind of like better than that Killer Moth. You get a Farmer, Blue Beetle, and Gas Mask Batman. It's a pretty cool one. Up here we have the Batman Killer Croc Sewer Smash. Kind of a neat one, I guess. We got Batman Rescue from Ra Rosh Agul. I had the worst trouble with his name. I like this Robin figure. So itself, I don't know about that one. Here's the Marvel uh, My Mighty Micros. Of these, I really like. I got the ones shown here. I really like the Wolverine versus Magneto because I like both of these minifigures, and they'd be really cool to have. I think. That Iron Man minifigure, though, look at his face. And then the Thanos one. I might get those. I don't know. And these are available tomorrow also. Um, These two. Like, these ones are all... All these are, are new Mighty Micros for 2017, so that's really cool. Uh, Spider-Man Doc Ock's Tentacle Trap. Well, that would be a terrifying thing to just see coming at you. Is this... I think this might be based off the cartoon. I'm not sure because I see the white tiger minifigure. I actually have watched some of the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon and it's it's pretty good. Well, can't really compare, I don't think, to like Spectacular Spider-Man, but it's good in its own right. So here's the bridge battle. That's kind of a neat one. I love these little brick pieces here. I'm probably going to be saying a lot that that's kind of a neat one. Oh, this is one that I was thinking about getting. It's Doctor Strange's Sanctum Sanctorium. I've seen this at the stores. You get Doctor Strange, Carl, Mardo, and the Ancient One. I think they look really cool. Sorry, my cat's over there playing. So I'm sorry if you hear any weird noises. Let's see what we have here. So we're back in the battle. These are the Nexo Knights. Oh, this is where I give a scan through of the page. Nexo Knights don't really appeal to me too much. But there are some sets that I kind of like, like this one right here, the Gestero's Headquarters thing. Because I, I don't know, I just think that one looks pretty cool and that some of the pieces would be really cool to use with other sets. Like, look at this. You could make this build and, or use this part of the build and do something with Joker, I think, for like an MOC maybe. I don't know. But I do kind of like that one. And that Gargoyle minifigure is pretty cool. So here we have more Nexo Knight stuff, or... Yeah, this was all Nexo Knights, wasn't it? Yeah. More Nexo Knights stuff here. I guess something for an app that they're going to have available. This is more stuff that releases next year, which is tomorrow. Fly to Dragon's Forge. I like this right here, this Ninjango set. I like a lot of these Ninjango sets. And look at this. This actually opens out. So, let's see, the Vermilion Attack, Vermilion Invader, Samurai VXL, Dawn of Iron Doom, Destiny's Shadow, and these are all things that are releasing tomorrow. I like this right here. I don't know why, I just do. I have a lot of little motorbike ones. Ooh, now we're into the Star Wars stuff. I love Star Wars. So this is the Imperial Assault Hover Tank. ATST Walker. Um, this is this TIE Striker. I really like this set. This set and this one right here, the Rebel U-Wing Fighter. I saw this just today, actually, when we went to pick some stuff up at the store, which... Just mainly, we mainly went for like some sparkling wine because we always have that on New Year's. That's just, of course, that's just grape juice, but still, it's New Year's tradition for us. So, anyway, I saw this one and it was so tempting because I still have a bit of Christmas money left, but I want to get out to like Walmart and Target before I actually get anything with that. So, anyway, well, that looks really neat. The uh, Kiranix Kier Kier Imperial Shuttle. That's really cool. You can see the figures. I actually saw a Rogue One with um, 
my cousin, my grandma, and my brother recently. I really liked it. Encounter on Jakku. This is a set that I actually kind of wanted to get before, because you get Ray and BB-8. So there's a Resistance X-Wing fighter. I love these, this X-Wing right here. I think it... I don't know, I just love this X-Wing. Slave 1. And this one is really cool, too. This is also, like, a really expensive one, but just really cool, because you build, like, a stand, and there's, like, a little plaque with information on it. It says, showcase the huge Slave 1 and upright flight on this display stand. That would be so cool. And I like that Han Solo figure as well. But I don't think I'd be able to save up that much for this because I'd just be too tempted with other things. So anyway, this is the Millennium Falcon. And this is the one that I was thinking about getting. This, Like I said, this one, Simpsons House, or that other one that was further back in that I pointed out, this Arkham Asylum. It's going to be one of those three. It may end up being this one. <laughs> I don't know, I just keep jumping around between this and the Simpsons house, and now there's the Arkham Asylum one, but this is just so cool looking. I've got the little mini version, but this is just cool. You get the, I can't say that, but the gang member there, you get the... So you get, like, old Han Solo, Chewbacca, Finn, Rey, and BB-8. So I'd also get BB-8 in this, and Rey in this one if I were to get this. So then I, I don't know... I wouldn't make this one completely redundant because I do really like the actual build itself, but I don't know. But yeah, I do really like that. And again, yes, my camera did cut off, so I don't even know how long the video has been going because I can't keep an accurate read on it because it keeps cutting off. So anyway, this is another set I actually was really wanting, but this one's, as you can see, really pricey and... I don't know, it just takes so long to save that it seems like... I mean, it's not like this one isn't pricey. It just... This one, or The Simpsons, as I already said, or The Arkham Asylum would just be quicker, I think, to save for. And I would enjoy them just as much. But this one is just really cool. It's got all these different bits of the uh, Hoth Rebel base and such. And you get Luke, and I don't think you can get this Luke in any other one, but I'm not sure. You get Han Solo, Rebel Officer, K-3PO, you get R-3-A-2. I really like that figure as well. Toran Far, Wes Jensen, Wedge, five Rebel Troopers with no names apparently, and two Storm Troopers. This is, and then this is the Death Star set, and this set is just really awesome, but this one, for that price... I don't think that this is one I will ever actually have myself, but that is just such a cool set. And just with all the different rooms and everything, I just love how this looks. I also don't know where I would display it because I don't know if that would fit correctly on the shelves with our china cabinet, but it's just awesome. Maybe on the bookcase where I've got like Marvel stuff right now, but still, I just really love this set. And look at all the minifigures. There are 23 minifigures and two droids. C-3PO, Chewbacca, Han Solo, and this is young Han Solo. Luke Skywalker, Tatooine, Princess Leia. I almost just called her Prince Leia. Princess Leia, Luke Skywalker, Final Duel. This is the one you can also get in the advent calendar I did. And I have been seeing the advent calendars on sale at, like, our Meyer and such. So if you didn't get one and you want this figure, then I would recommend that. Just because you get a lot of cool figures and... Even if you don't care much for the mini build, it's still extra pieces, but this figure in particular, I know you can normally get only get in expensive sets, and I think that him alone almost makes the advent calendar's price worth it. So then you get Obi-Wan Kenobi, Han Solo, and Luke Skywalker in disguise here. Um, Death Star droid, two stormtroopers, two, two Death Star troopers, an Imperial officer, Navy... Imperial Navy Officer Grand Moff Tarkin, Darth Vader, two Emperor's Royal Guards, Emperor Palpatine, look at how cool he looks, an Imperial Astromech, and R2-D2. And yes, it did cut off again. I When that new camera gets here, I am going to be so happy that I'm not going to have to deal with all the stitching videos together and such. That's what I always refer to it as, is stitching the video together. Here's the Mindstorms thing. I don't know. I, Nine Storms never really caught my attention, but I have seen some really cool things that people have done with them. So there's the Mind Storms. Here are the Lego Ideas sets. 
And this is a new one. This is Adventure Time. I'm not much of a fan of Adventure Time myself, but I know a lot of people who are, so... If you're interested, there's the Adventure Time set. We got the... Caterham 762... Or... 620R. Not 62 or. That's what I was gonna say was 62 or. Includes a booklet about the Lego fan designer and the, se the 7... 620R. That's kind of cool. It's got like... I thought it had Technic pieces. Like. So yeah, this looked like Technic pieces to me, but it isn't. But anyway, this looks like it might actually be a printed piece. I think it is a printed piece. So that's really cool. This is one I really, really love. The Beatles Yellow Submarine. And I think that this set I just may get because I just love it. And the Beatles are just... They're awesome. So yeah, there's the yellow submarine, and it just looks so cool. And then you get the four minifigures. It says John, Paul, George, Ringo, and a Jeremy figure. And then here's some of the architecture sets. These ones don't appeal all that much to me, but I know there are some people who like them. Personally, out of these, I do kind of like the Chicago skyline. Um, Ghostbusters. I've seen this set. I don't know if I'll get it or not, but it is kind of neat. And then here's the Firehouse Headquarters. This is another one that I would absolutely love to get one day, but the price is, again, what puts me off of it. Just like with the uh, Death Star. You get nine minifigures and three ghosts. Technically four ghosts, because, I mean, there's a library ghost, but... I guess it's because she's more of a minifigure. Hard to find Lego sets. We have the Palace Cinema. I love all of these, by the way. The Parisian Restaurant, the Detective's Office, and the Brick Bank. This Detective's Office, I actually almost got once. And then I ended up not doing it, but I actually did almost get this set once. I don't remember why I didn't get it, though. Assembly Square. Enter the world of the Assembly Square with its elaborate fa facade and host of sh of shops and amenities featuring unsurpassed details and surprises includes eight minifigures and a baby figure. That's actually pretty cool. I wish the angle let us actually see the, well, I guess the build's here in the front view, but I would like a more full view of, the, of that, but that does look pretty cool. Like, if you have enough space to set up a full city and you were, and you were able to afford to get all of this, I bet it would look really cool all together. Must have Lego sets. Big Ben. As cool as I think this one looks, it's just not something I would personally get. I prefer like the Star Wars and the fantasy sets, but that is a pretty cool one. So here we have some of the, uh, we have some creator stuff over here. Volkswagen Beetle, Ferrari F40, and the Mini Cooper. I like the Mini Cooper and I like the Volkswagen Beetle. The Ferrari's alright, I guess, but I just kind of like the charm of these two better. Here we have Technic. Technic's another thing that never fully appealed to me. I have some Technic. And I'm not... It's not like I hate Technic or anything. But I just... I just don't care as much for it. I do have some Technic stuff, though. Challenging building. Got this. Two and one. That's actually kind of cool. I say after explaining myself about why I don't care as much for Technic. I got this one, the Volvo, and this has a pneumatic system. We have the Roadwork Crew, Ultra Helicopter, Stunt Bike, and Stunt Track. Stunt Truck, not Track. <laughs> one set, three models. I've, I've gotten three in one sets before. Those are really fun. So there's a, ro a Robo Explorer. This is a one that releases tomorrow. Mighty Dinosaurs. I like this set. I'd probably build it as the... Triceratops, personally. Uh, the Beachside Vacation. Excuse me. That will be out tomorrow. This is one I may get. I really like it. I've said so many that I may get. And I'll probably only end up getting like one-fourth of those, if that. Uh, Street Park Street Townhouse. That's a cool one. And that's another one that releases tomorrow. This... This, I think I said it, but this one also releases tomorrow. 
Island Adventure. I like this set, and if I got it, I'd probably build this one right here. But I don't think I'll get that one personally. Epic Minecraft sets. Fortress. I like the Fortress set, actually. That's kind of neat. Uh, the Village. Look at the price on it. Yikes. But I do like this village. As somebody who has played Minecraft and thoroughly enjoyed building ridiculous things in it, I do enjoy these sets. Chase down the crooks. So here's some city stuff. ATV arrest. Police starter set. I kind of like that ATM build there. Uh, high speed chase. I have so many helicopters from, like, Lego City stuff, it is not even funny anymore. Obviously, they're not all together, but in my Lego bin, all of these different chopper pieces I have, it's not even funny. Uh, mobile Command Center, it's kind of funny. Uh, police Station, I really love this. I have the Fire Station set, it's not together right now, but I've been thinking about digging out the pieces and reassembling it, and I just love how this police station looks. Here is Tow Truck Trouble. Not one of my favorites, but it is pretty cool. I like the bikes. I like that police bike. This one. They're both police bikes, but that one in particular. City excitement. Got a money transport. Auto transport heist. Bulldozer break in. I have a feeling that this video is going to end up being really long. Uh, sweeper and excavator. Pizza van. That's cool. I like that. Buggy, stunt truck, a day in the city. I've seen this. I don't really know, like, what I think of it. Like, I like all the minifigures and stuff, but the mini builds, like, because that's pretty much what they are, just mini builds. They're just not that much exciting going on there. It's like, obviously it looks big, the way they have it set up, but it's really not that much. It's just... Some minifigures, some trees, some signs, and just little odds and ends here and there. I do really like this wheelchair, though. And her little dog, and then the, the baby and the stroller. But other than that, I just don't know about that one. It's a little underwhelming. The service station's cool. I've never had a gas station set, and I really do like the service station. Octan. <sighs> Electra. Sorry. Um, Here's the creative building stuff. Creative building bucket creative building set. I had one of the small sets, and that's mixed in with my Lego now, of course, but I like these. You get them with no instructions or anything. Just an idea booklet, and it just it's nice to get supplement pieces. I do wish that you didn't have to get, like, a bright supplement. Like, how do I put this? Like, you can get the bright supplement, or you can get the basic supplement, but if you get the bright one, you have to go down the aisle where the Barbies and stuff are, and I don't understand why they do that because, I mean, it's not like it's only girls who are going to want to use the bright stuff. They like the pinks and such. On the flip side, it's not like it's only girls who always collect dolls and stuff. My brother has a few Descendants dolls of his own, for example, but that's a whole other thing to talk about. So here's the base plates. I don't think I've ever seen a gray base plate, like, in person. Our stores have, like, the... The sand and the grass, or the green rather, but I've never seen the gray one. Brick separator, 249. <laughs> a lot of bigger sets come with those now, but it's nice that you can just buy a brick separator. Heartlick delivery. This is the Lego friend stuff, by the way. So it's Heartlick gift delivery, Heartlick pizzeria. I like that pizzeria. That's cool. Heartlick swimming, summer pool. Not, I almost said swimmer pool. I really like how this looks. I also like that the sets aren't, like, there's not as much pink in them as there used to be, I don't feel like. For example, here's Stephanie's house. My, the old house I got was, like, completely purple, pur purple. Not that there's really a problem with that, but it's just, like, this house looks a bit more like a house. I mean, the roof is blue, granted, but it's white. It's more of, like, a normal house color, I feel like, so that's really cool. This is like a house you would actually see. Electra! Sorry, my cat's trying to get out my curtains. And you get Stephanie, Alika, and James. I'm, I don't know, I'm assuming her parents? Um, so that's really cool. It says 8 inches high, 9 wide, and 10 inches deep. I don't have my house together right now. I think I have Olivia's. 
I should put that back together. I put all this stuff I'm saying back together, then I won't have any space. So maybe not. Maybe just my fire station. So here's the Hartlick Sports Center. This is another one I really like. I like this particular dark purple as opposed to like the lighter purples like this one. So that's a neat one. I like that they have more of the male mini dolls now as well. Okay, playful puppies. I have, I think, one of these little sets. No, I don't have one of these little sets because these are new for next year. But I have a little set similar. Oh my god, look at this. Puppy parade. It's a dog limo. That is... <laughs> I started to say gorgeous. That's hilarious. I would love that. Just because of how hilarious it is. And that's another one that's new for next year. Puppy championship. I like that. That's cool. We have exciting hobbies. Emma's photo studio. That's cool. Look at all like the photo equipment. That is really cool. And this is again all new for next year. Mia's beach scooter. Oli Olivia's creative lab. Now that is a cool one too. Stephanie's friendship cakes. Andrea's musical duet and then that's all the new ones and this is the full washing station which that's an older set but these are really cool different hobby sets and they're just so diverse I don't understand like with the diversity that some of these have why some people still think them to be kind of sexist I mean it's not like girls have to choose the friend sets if they want to they can go choose a regular Lego set but again that's not I don't want to start a debate so Full's washing station. And then over here we have the elves. I like the elves stuff. Uh, Queen Dragon's Rescue. I like this dragon. Don't ask me why in particular this dragon. Because there are other Lego dragons. But I really like this dragon. I think it's the wings that really drew me in. Of course you get the little castle tower and such. And this is my, probably one of my favorite, favorite elf sets. Regina's magic shadow castle it's a three-story castle it's really cool there's also a scooby-doo castle i really want but none of our stores ever have the scooby-doo stuff like they did for a while and i got the mystery machine i've never seen anything other than that that the mystery machine and the um the museum one this set is just amazing right here this disney castle set um chad allen actually put this together he like posted on Instagram as he built it. I think he streamed it. I think he was the one I saw who streamed it. And it is just so cool. This is another set that I would love to have but probably will never get, but I love it. Okay, we're almost through here. So now we're on the Disney stuff. Here's the new Moana stuff. There is Elsa's Magical Ice Palace. And I have the old Ice Palace set that they did. And I actually put that together with my brother Alex, but this one I think I might even like better than the one we put together already. I don't know, just got more of the see-through pieces than the other one did. So I think I like that one better. But I don't know, this one releases next uh, year, tomorrow. Anna's Snow Adventure. This is another uh, neat one I kind of like. I just like the uh, little shelters. And then, this is another new one. I don't know why I just, I said and then and then just paused like that. But that's another new one. And I just kind of really like the little shelter builds. Okay, so, oh, and then there's this. I forgot about these. DC Superhero Girls. I've seen a couple of these so far. And I'm actually really liking them. So there's Lashina uh, Tank. I like that that one comes with Crypto. That's so cool. I think that's supposed to be Crypto. Do you ever watch the old Crypto cartoon? This is a new one for next year. And then Bumblebee Helicopter, also new for next year. Okay. We're nearly done and the camera cut off again. But anyway, we got the Wonder Woman dorm here. I absolutely love this bit right here with the motorcycle. Like I said, I have a weird thing for the motorcycles. And the rest of the dorm is pretty neat too. And I like the Wonder Woman figure. So we got the Batgirl Batjet Chase. I've seen this one the, like in the stores. And I think this one is pretty cool looking. Like I still think I really like this Batgirl better, like the regular style one, but I'm not opposed to the mini girl version. I do like how she looks as well. Did I just say mini girl? Mini doll. <laughs> mini girl. <laughs> what the heck? Oh boy. Um, superhero high school. I might, I might, I almost said mate. I might get this one 
because I really like it, but I don't know, maybe not. And I really like Poison Ivy. Like, they have Poison Ivy, Lena, Luther, and Supergirl in this set, and out of all three of those, the Poison Ivy minifigure appeals to me the most. And I've seen this one, too. Harley Quinn to the, the rescue with the Harley Quinn uh, jet thing. Is that Steve Trevor? So I've seen that one. It's not really one I think I really want, but I might get it if there ends up not being another way to get Harley if I decide to get this one. But they are pretty cool. In the back, it's just... Oh, is this the one that I said I wish they had shown? Yeah, this is. This is the one that I wish they showed on a bigger version of what it looks like fully. So there that is. Um... I'm not going to put the camera up any higher because then you would see my address. But yeah, that's that. There's all the mini figures that comes with. So thank you all for joining me today on New Year's Eve to celebrate the new year by looking at the new Lego sets up that are upcoming for 2017. And yeah, we did also go over some of the ones that have already been out. But I just thought it would be fun to look through the catalog with you guys. So... Uh, thank you for sticking with me if you watched this whole video because I'm sure it's going to end up kind of long. But just thank you all so much. And if you liked it, I hope I'll see, I hope you'll stick around and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.